Okay. Okay. All right. So um, the thing that we are going to talk today is about just basic before we go uh -huh. deeply into our um, technical analysis. So which is we are going to stick with engulfing until the end of the session, which is the one that you are using for trading, uh, engulfing trading system. Okay. So okay. before we start the class, so I, I'm, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Kin. You can call me Kin. And I've been mm -hmm. trading using this uh, method using this technical analysis for about six years. Okay? Six years. Six wow. years. All right. Wow. Um, and I, yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. <laughs> still new. I'm still okay. new, basically. <laughs> okay. I've had like five experience, six years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, so what am I going to share with you today is, uh, number one, we are going to talk about what is, what is engulfing. Okay, what okay. is engulfing? All right. Yeah, what is engulfing? Can you see the screen? Yes, I can see. All right. So the first one is what is engulfing, and the second one we are going to talk about OHLC, which is we are going to go deep deeply into the candlestick. Okay, we are going to learn what is actually candlestick. Sorry. Okay. Wait, wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Um. Uh. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. All right. So, uh, the second thing we are going to talk about OHLC, which is open, high, low, and close candle. Okay. So, which is we are going to go deeply into mm -hmm. the candlestick itself. Okay. Okay. And okay. then, uh, wait, I forgot my my basic syllabus. So I need to pack it back. Wait, my second. Um, so, uh, the third thing we are going to learn about the trend, okay, which is the basic. And then we are going to learn about buy and sell, buy movement, movement and sell movement. By the way, um, how long you've been trading in, in, in this industry? How long you've been in this industry? Uh, so I've been uh, trading for over uh, one year, but like uh, not uh, uh, SNR way. I have learned some from ICT and uh, some SNC concepts that I see on Instagram. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, I have been a failed couple of challenges. I see. So yeah, yeah. I think right. I use this basic SMC if you are aware. Yep. So yeah. Uh, um when we talk about engulfing, okay, when we talk about mm -hmm. engulfing, we are going to be friend with candlestick. So uh, if okay. we go to Google, okay, and when we search engulfing, engulfing candle, okay. what are we mm -hmm. going to see is this. Okay, this is mm -hmm. engulfing. This is engulfing. Wait, uh, where's the picture? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is engulfing patterns. Okay, entirely engulf the previous candle. So it means what is exactly the meaning of engulfing is um when the latest candle so this is the latest candle okay the latest candle close higher than or lower than previous candle so basically mm -hmm. this is how it works okay um so engulfing before that engulfing when we talk about engulfing you need to know okay we need to know um that in engulfing we have engulfing and Engulfing field. Okay. Okay. Engulfing field. So, uh, by the way, today's session is just about the basic, and maybe tomorrow's night we are going to go deeply, which is we are going to oh. go how to buy, how to sell, how to hold, and etc. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, engulfing and engulfing field. So, in engulfing, what do we have is just engulfing by ED buy and mm -hmm. ED sell. Okay. Which is engulfing buy is for buy, is for mm -hmm. us to find any buy, um, uh, buy possibilities, and then when we talk about engulfing sell, we are going to find we are going to look for sell. So about engulfing field, which is the sh the short 
of engulfing fail is EF. So okay. we have EF to buy and we have mm -hmm. EF to sell. Okay, basic things. Okay, okay. so yeah. when you know this, so uh, I'm explaining this roughly. So let's go deeply into it. So when we talk about engulfing, we need to know what is actually engulfing. So basically, engulfing is when the the current candle, okay, the current candle engulf the previous candle. So which is, okay, which is, hey, wait, before that, we go to OHLC first. Here we go to OHLC first. Um, I'm going to draw this for you. Uh, right. Perfect. So we have bull candle, which is I'll uh I'll draw it blue, and then we have bear candle, which I'm going to draw color it red. Okay. So as you know, red is uh the price that goes from up to down, and down yeah yeah, and the bull candle is the low price goes up. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. So when we talk about the candlestick, what do we need to understand deep, deep, deeply about candlestick is the components of the candlestick itself. So at uh, first thing first, we are going to talk about this bull candle, which is the candle for buy. So um, as you can see right here, the, hmm. as you can see the, right here, okay, great, throw this, wait, uh, right here, yeah, right here. This is what we call high. This Idea. is yep, what we call high. So this is what we call high, which is edge. Okay. This is edge, yeah. Yeah, edge. All right. Okay. So and as you can see here, it's low. Yeah. Yeah, it's low. Wait. Low. So when we talk about engulf, uh, when we talk about candlestick, so it doesn't matter what color is the candlestick, what types of uh, candlestick, it's it's bull or it's bear candlestick. The high mm -hmm. will be high and the low will be low, which is high will be yeah. the highest price that that the candle creates, and the low mm -hmm. is the lowest price that the candle creates. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. And then the most important thing is the most important thing when we talk about candlestick in my technical analysis is about closing and opening candle. So we already have H and L, which is high and low. So where is close, where is open? So basically, as uh, as we know, as, as we know our basic knowledge, which is when the bull candle close, it means the price move from bottom, move from low yeah. to high. Okay. Yeah. When we talk yeah. about the bear candle, the price mm -hmm. move from high to low. So it means yes. you need to know this thing, which is everything that went up, it will mm -hmm. start from bottom. So it means bottom. this is our open. Open. Yes, exactly. Yeah. This is our open. And the open will close higher. We close at mm -hmm. high around here. So this is the candle close. So same same things will repeat at this next picture, which is um a uh, bear candle. So which is everything that went down from up will start yeah. opening at the high and then we we'll start close at bottom. Yeah. So this is what yeah. we call OHLC. So the thing that you need to know about engulfing is you need to understand where the price is gonna where the candle is gonna close. Okay. If the candle close up, if the candle close higher than the previous candle, what will gonna happen? What we call that? If the price close, if the the current candle close lower than the previous candle, what are we going to call that? Okay. okay. So, uh, so far, do you understand? Yes, yes, I understood this over Chelsea concept. Yeah. All right, good. So, we we go back. We go back to our engulfing. So, how? Do we know is this engulfing candle or not? 
Okay, so mm -hmm. back. Okay, wait, let me draw this for you. Okay, so this is our previous candle. Okay, this is mm -hmm. our previous candle, which is um, wait, which is the high is here, low is here, open is here, and close is oh. here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and then when we talk about engulfing, how do we identify the engulfing? The first SOP of knowing what is engulfing is we need to have like the previous candle and the current mm -hmm. candle in the different color, in the different oh. types of candle. So which is the previous candle is the bare candle and the, mm -hmm. the current candle need to be by candle, which is a bull candle. Bull candle. Bull candle. Okay. So, mm -hmm. which is the blue one? All right. Um. Okay. So, as you can see, before that, before that, we need to mark the high, and just mark the low. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mark the high and the low, which is what I always did is draw the box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Draw the box. Yeah. Draw the box. So this is color of the box. Yo, wait. Uh, all right. So we draw the box. Mm -hmm. All right. So how to identify is this engulfing by? Uh, is this engulfing cell or engulfing by? Is by looking where the current price is closing. As you can see, this current price is closing. Okay. Before that, mm -hmm. let me let me let me. Let me draw the component. Uh, just close and open. Okay. As you can see, the price already close higher than the mm -hmm. previous high, right? Yeah. Higher than previous high. So when the price close higher than the previous high, this is mm -hmm. what we call engulfing candle. Mm -hmm. This is engulfing. Okay, we need candle. price to close it. Like if it is only big, I show you, we won't count it. Right? Sorry. If it is only wick, do we count it? Ah, no, no, no. If if oh. if just the wick like this, okay, this is not engulfing. Okay. But if we have another same color candle, same colored candle, close mm -hmm. higher than this, this is what we call engulfing. Okay. You understand this? So this yes, is. What I have one more doubt. doubt. Sorry. So I have one question. Can I ask? Uh huh. Yeah. So. Uh, what if there is no wick here? It uh, the candle starts here and directly goes above. Should we count? Uh, that, does that count as engulfing? No, the, the the body of the candle need to be close, higher or lower than the previous candle. Yes, yes. Uh, so the body, yeah. Can you extend it here, body? Okay, okay. The body here. Yeah. No, no, not this one. Ah, uh, uh, on top side. Here. No, no. Ah, uh, keep the body as it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I extend it on upper side till here. All right, all right. right. Okay, uh -huh. and uh, if you can uh, remove this wick to here. Okay, this wick. Remove this wick. Okay. Yeah, there. So do we count this one as engulfing? Yes, exactly. Okay. What do we uh -huh. need to see deep, deeply? Mm -hmm. Is just the candle closing. Where the candle is closing. Closing. Okay, closing price is important. Yeah. Okay. So no matter, no matter how, how many candle that it takes to close higher than this previous high okay mm -hmm. no matter it's it three or four or five but if it's mm -hmm. close if it close higher than this is what we call engulfing this is what we call engulfing the price was create an engulfing buy with uh -huh. one two three four four candle okay got it. Uh -huh. okay. okay you got it yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, so what if what if the price here close mm -hmm. the price is, is red, okay, the red, and then wait, the red here, and then it close like this, the pool close like this. Mm -hmm. Is this counted as engulfing? Is this the box of engulfing? No, I yes, the latest candle we should. Yes, it. so we need to mark this 
candle as our zone. Zone, okay. You see it? Yeah. Which is when the price close higher, hmm. when the current price, when the current candle close higher than the previous high, this is what we call hmm. an engulfing okay. buy. Okay, understood. Understood. All right. Yeah. So we go to the next one, which is engulfing sell. Wait, engulfing sell. Yeah, wait. Engulfing sell. So, mm, engulfing sell. So the left candle, the previous candle should be bull candle, which is buy candle, yeah. blue candle. Mm -hmm. And then the next candle will be red candle. Yeah, red candle. Good. Is this counted as engulfing cell? Yes, it is. It is yes. counted. And how to mark this is how we Open, mark. High and low. Yeah, we just mark the previous candle, which is high and low. And, okay. Okay. So this is actual actually this is what this is our sell zone when the price get into the zone yeah this is zone for us to sell okay mm -hmm. and and when we talk about buy okay just just vice versa it okay yeah i understand okay, okay. Good. so what mm -hmm. if so what if okay what if when the price goes up okay when the price goes up and then break the zone, which is the bull candle after this, close. Higher than the box. Okay, we talk about the box. Higher than the box, which is the blue candle. Okay. So uh -huh. this is what we call engulfing field. Because at first, at first, what are we marking was the engulfing cell, isn't it? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But this, the third candle goes up and break the zone. How to mm -hmm. identify is this zone already be broken or not? We need to look at the close of the candle. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, it close higher than this, which is this is our higher than our zone, which is when when, yeah. when the price close higher than our zone, it means the zone has already been broken. Okay. If it only makes wick, uh, does the zone nope. still... Yeah, the zone valid? is still valid for sell. Okay, got it. Okay. And if not, okay, if this, mm -hmm. what happened, this, okay, so this is what we call engulfing field. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is engulfing field. Yeah, engulfing field. So engulfing field, if the sell zone was broken, we are going to use the same sell zone to buy. Okay, so we won't uh, consider this one as uh, engulfing then? Sorry? Uh, so we won't use uh, this candle as uh, engulfing area to buy? Yeah, yeah, buy. yeah, yeah. Also, also. But okay. so right here, we have two zones, which is the buy zone, the engulfing buy zone, and the engulfing fill. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So so we have two zones, okay? Mm. So, so you okay. already understand how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so let's go to the chart. Let's go to the chart. Okay. Let's go to the chart to make you see it like clearly. So as you can see, this is okay. Wait. Okay, as you can see, is this an engulfing? Wait. Is this an, an engulfing? Yeah, it is engulfing. Yeah. So you, you just need to mark this zone and then when the price get into the zone. And all the SOP is here and the price goes up. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And if you can see right here, is this engulfing cell? Yeah. Yep. Look at the price. When the price get into the zone, the price mm -hmm. drop. Okay. So you, you see how it works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, one second. Can you, okay. uh, yeah, can I mark? So this okay. candle, uh, this, uh, bearish candle mm -hmm. uh, took uh, broke all these three so we won't consider some year to year no 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 yes exactly we just consider the new one okay mm -hmm. like got it. the blue one and the the red one 
-hmm. Okay. So let's see oh. more and more. Okay. So is this considered as engulfing cell? Uh, engulfing cell, yes. Yes, exactly. Right. Because the the current candle close lower mm -hmm. than the previous candle. If the price, if the current price close higher than previous candle, what will it going to be happening? Uh, engulfing failed. Yeah, engulfing field. So as you can see, this is an engulfing cell. The price went in and went down. Boom. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's see here. This is an engulfing buy. Yeah, look at the price. When the price goes in and the price went up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. see, let's see this again. Okay, at first, this is an engulfing cell, is it? Yes, two Engulf candle broke. Yeah, engulfing mm -hmm. cell with broken up with two candles, right? Yeah. And then this engulfing cell was broken. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what we call this? Engulfing failed. Okay, right. at first we are going to use this zone for selling, but when uh -huh. it failed, we are going to use this zone for buy. Right. Look at that. And this is what I'm showing you just now. Yeah, we have two zones, right? To make yeah. it more stronger. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So is this considered as engulfing cell? Wait. Is this considered as engulfing cell? This. Uh, no, because there is no close above below. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. So this is an engulfing buy, isn't it? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So this is the basic that you need to understand, which is you need to look like very, very closely. And why, and why go like um, uh, on a Friday, it went down like crazy. As you can see, yeah, this is an engulfing cell. Okay. Yes. So no wonder why the price goes down, the price went down, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, let's see more and more. So this is an engulfing cell, right? Yeah, correct. And the price went in and went down. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And then the price was, this sell zone was broken around here. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be an engulfing fail. Okay. Yeah. And then we also. still can use this zone from sell to buy. Boom. So Go here uh, we will have three zones, correct? Sorry? So this one will be our first zone, which is engulfing uh, fail. This uh -huh. zone. Yeah. Then this one will also be engulfing fail, and this one will be engulfing uh, buy. Yes, exactly. Okay, you saw it clearly. Good, good, yeah. good, good, good. This engulfing fail, the price went in and went up. Went in again mm -hmm. and goes up again. Ah, okay. We have another engulfing zone. Yeah, we have because we have another engulfing, right? Yeah, good brother, good brother. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, the basic of engulfing that we need to know, okay? That we need to know. Okay. Because this thing, we are going to stick with this thing until the end of our session, and you are going to mark this engulfing buy, engulfing sell, engulfing fail to buy, and engulfing mm -hmm. fail to sell. Okay? <laughs> all right. So let's go to our notes just now. Um, all right. Okay. So we are done with our what is engulfing. Mm -hmm. And then we are going, we are done with OA Chelsea. Okay, mm -hmm. we're done with the basic. So let's let let's talk about like a real, real basic thing. So about mm -hmm. the trend. So I'm going to share the screen of this. Can you see my screen? Uh yeah, I can see your screen. Yeah, this uptrend, downtrend, and sideways, right? Yeah, sideways. Yeah. All right. So talking about trend, we have three types of trend, which is the uptrend, the downtrend, and the sideways. So how it looks of uptrend. So how it looks. Okay, this is uptrend, which is we are going to focus on buy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about downtrend, we are going to focus on sell. All right. Mm -hmm. So okay. what is sideways? Sideways is when the price ranging. Okay, when the price ranging like this. Okay, so mostly, mostly this happened when mm -hmm. the price, before price continue the trend or to make a new trend. For an example, 
from buy from uptrend to downtrend mm -hmm. it needs to range first before go down okay okay mm -hmm. so this is the basic okay this is the basic so we move mm -hmm. to this okay so uh, this is um we are going to uh, look for buy and look for sell so mm -hmm. this is what we call continuation okay which is in the uptrend okay we are going to buy here we are going to buy here and we are going to buy here okay, okay. so this is continuation so what is retracement retracement is this when you sell here this is retracement mm -hmm. and then when we when we sell here this is retracement right and then when we sell okay. here this is retracement so that mm -hmm. is the continuation and the retracement yeah look at this retracement mm -hmm. yeah. retracement retracement and then talking about the downtrend okay so downtrend we are uh, more looking for sell instead of looking for buy which is we are going to follow the direction which is the continuation we're going to sell here sell here and sell here so where is the retracement of this picture this is the retracement yeah buy here buy here and buy here mm -hmm. okay so you understand it yeah I understood. all right so look at it retracement retracement okay so so far so far for our first session um is there any problem for you uh no nothing so i was just uh, i mean i think i need to practice about angle yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you need to practice of it yeah okay so yeah, yeah. Uh, what 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 are you going to to do okay i'm um uh, is it okay if i give you like uh like homework to do like little yes, bit of homework yes, to do right. okay yeah yeah of course um later okay later you send me um 10 screenshot of engulfing buy 10 screenshot mm -hmm. of engulfing sell and five okay. screenshot of engulfing fail to buy and five screenshot okay. of engulfing fail to sell is it okay, okay. and i'm going to check yes. on you later okay yeah, sure. Okay. So, uh, I think it, because because the first session, it's when 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 it goes to the basic, um, mm -hmm. we just talk like not too much, not too deeply, because we are going to to save um another topic for the advanced technical analysis. So for mm -hmm. now, this is the basic class with me. Mm -hmm. So if there are any okay. question, you you can you can hit me up um anytime mm -hmm. if you want. Okay, you can ask okay. me if you want. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think if you don't have any question, I'm going to end the session here, and um, mm -hmm. I'll see you uh, tomorrow's night, maybe around around nine, around ten. Okay, tomorrow. Ah uh, yes, tomorrow, because I yeah. because, okay. Uh, tomorrow I um, I I already cleared my schedule, uh, mm -hmm. and have like uh, a space uh, to put uh, a a meeting uh, with you. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I'll be working till 8 p.m. India time. So I think that will be about yeah 9.30 or 10 o'clock. I see. So can we catch up? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we, we we also can can do like uh, around 11, okay? 11. Yeah, because, sure. Because sure. Mostly, mostly the session of uh, advanced class, which is I call it advanced mm -hmm. class, well, we are talking about um, engulfing uh, trading system deep, deeply about technical mm -hmm. analysis how to buy and how to sell how to hold and extra try we're going to talk about roadblocks we are going okay. to talk about the risk management yeah tomorrow okay. it will take around two to three hours sure okay, okay. and tomorrow only we covered about uh, my team time frames and everything correct in that